Welcome to the new home of Gaston Track. Introducing Gaston Track Silverstone, unsilenced. So what's going on, Gas Gang? Yes, we are back with episode two of the Budget Build Box Chronicles. And in the boot of the Blue Devil, I am quite confident, we have the cheapest comprehensive turbo kit you can buy in the world. Guys, stay tuned for this one. It's gonna be sick. Let's get it. Welcome to Officially Gas. For the best in universal premium ester containing engine oils and fuel additives for both petrol and diesel engines, check the links in the description. So as the intro said today, yes, it's episode two of the Box Budget Build Chronicles. And I am quite confident that what is in this boot has the potential to double the power of the Blue Devil. Let me go back to the last video where you guys saw this on the dyno. We're talking about doubling the power now. This made an average of 220 brake horsepower. Now, I know technically you don't take an average, but we kind of had to because it got a misfire. The highest it done was 230 and the lowest it done was 213. So we went with 220 brake horsepower. I left it in your capable hands <laughs> to go out and find me the cheapest yeah. turbo kit possible in the world. Yeah. I don't care how nasty the kit might be. I don't care where it comes from. And instantly in my head, I was thinking, all right, cool. We're going to get a Wuhan special. And you know what I mean? It's going to come from the deepest depths of China, slave labor, all of that, right? It was a little bit closer to home that we found this kit, right? Yes. So I, I did the usual. I went on eBay. I looked up cast manifolds. I looked up cheap, these like, Chinese turbos you get. Given all the turbo builds that we've done, as, as you know, yes. there are other things to account for, right? There's pipe work, there's injectors. Obviously, we still need to sort out ECU. Then you've got head spacer. When you start adding those bits up, before you know it, you're well into like the three, four K mark. And most of the big builds that we're doing, we are at about the six to eight K mark on parts to do a decent turbo build. I came across a company over in France. They're called Laurent Motors. Really nice guy. Ended up speaking to one of the main guys there. His name's Ben. I know they've supplied kits to uh, drift teams mainly, okay. but they do a VAG section on their site. Check it out. After speaking to them and looking at everything that was included, I cannot see physically how you can get this many turbo parts in yeah. a kit this comprehensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you open this uh, boot. This is double your horsepower in one box. In one <laughs> box in the boot. That is yes. double the horsepower. Let's get it out. Let's unbox All it. All right, let's quickly get this out. Let's go. All right. All right, she's heavy. Yeah. Okay, all right, we'll put that down there. All right, let's get the Stanley blade. All right, all right, all right. I'll let you do the honors. I'm gonna do the honors. Don't know if my bail condition's actually that. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, cool, let's, let's slice her open. Oh, look at that. Ah. What I'm gonna say straight away is there's a lot of stuff in it. Bro, uh, do you know what we need to do? Let's lay this let's out. Lay out. Let's lay this out. All right, guys, so, <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Shout out to these boys, because <laughs> I do not know how, for one, they fit in all of this in the box, and for two, how they sell this for so cheap, it does not even make sense. So I'm gonna spin the camera around right now and show you everything that was hiding in that box. This is a complete turbo kit. This doesn't make sense. 
Oh, inject. Look, we've so we've got, got injectors. 440cc, he said these are. We've got... There's six of those. I don't even know what that is. What's that, fueling? Yeah, it'll be all the oil feed lines and everything, the vacuums and whatever. So this will be the oil feed for the turbo. Here's all the flanges for the fuel drain down to the sump. All these clips and bits and... It's so comprehensive, I can't get over it. Like someone sat down and put so much... Like, like for me to sit down and get all these individual bits from eBay, I would literally be at like, you know, 30, 40 quid for a line. Then I've got loads of these fittings. When you start adding it up, like even injectors for my personal turbo, I must have been about 800 quid into like big injectors. Fair enough, they're only 440 cc's, but you know, you're not. And what brand are they? <laughs> They've testing strict precision mold. We've got a manifold here. Cast manifold, Cast manifold, yeah. Manifold. This looks like the ones you get on eBay that are basically based on most others. I mean, don't get me wrong, the casting is slightly rough and we can always dowel it that's out. All right, that's all right. Got six holes in it, that's all that matters really. Warbro. Oh, here you go. Now, is a that the actual Warbro? Is that what that looks like or is this a bit of a Wuhan special? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Usually the logo is slightly different, <laughs> but I mean... So we got intent Warbro pump there, yeah? Oh, it looks like it's legit. Made in the USA. Made in USA printed on it. It cannot be a fake. Boost controller? Oh, wow. Is yeah, it? it is a boost controller. Bro, we are fast and furious. Look at that for a blow-off valve. It's fancy. It says uh, blow-off, sequential blow-off valve. Oh my, sequential, bro. I don't know what the sequential bit does. Now, bro, we need to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting this. Now, why have we got one, two, three, four, five, six gauges? Oh, it's going to be so cool inside. Bro, this is Fast and Furious vibes. This now. is going to be Fast this and Furious vibes. This is Fast and Furious. I have no idea what these are until we switch them on. What else is in the box? Oh, it uh, says Bosch. Oh, I'm seeing Bosch. real brands here, bro. Ah, he's got the Lamber kit and everything. Lamber. Real Bosch Lamber kit. This is surprising. Yes. It has... I'm fairly impressed with this. Yeah, this don't even make sense. We've got a, a damper. Was it a three-inch damper? Four-inch damper? I'd say it's about a three-inch damper. I mean, look, it's, the welds look pretty decent. Doesn't look bad. Not overly amazed by this sort of, you know, usually <laughs> we'd mander or bend it, but I mean, the air's, gonna, the air's gonna get from A to B, I guess. Now, this is actually cool too, because I wasn't expecting this part. Now, this is actually like a step down, so it can actually fit on with the stock exhaust, right? Yeah, I wasn't expecting. So when they said the down part was included, what they've also included is where it goes underneath from the subframe. They've got the next section of the exhaust, okay, which then steps down. And yeah, I mean, seeing as it's a budget build, we could just probably sleeve or make this to your current exhaust <laughs> system. So. This is like on the road kit. V-bands included. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? You can't go wrong. We have a plethora <laughs> of boost pipes and yeah. uh, silicon hoses and clamps for the uh, the intercooler. I mean, this just looks like the sort of intercooler you'd pick up on eBay, 50 sort of quid. I mean, I think it'll do the job if Oop. I'm honest. Yes, yeah, it's had a bit <clears throat> So basically, right, Obviously, you're not building the engines, you're not changing the size of the pistons or the height of the pistons, so you need to change the compression of the engine. Got you. So what they've done, and this is with most budget builds you'll find, is if you look at the thickness of this head gasket, right? Yeah. It's yeah. basically two head gaskets with a layer in the middle. What this is doing is this is changing the compression of the engine, but then it's giving you that safety at de detonation. So, I mean, if you've ever seen an R32 head upside down, you see how close the valves are to the face, right? Got you. This will stop your valves from punching your pistons, basically. Got you. That's the main thing, at minimum. If you can't, you know, most people don't want to build an engine or don't have the know-how to build an engine or afford to build an engine, this is a, a must item. Is a must. These alone, I'm pretty certain, are around the 350 mark anyway. <laughs> so, fuel regulator, what is that? Am uh, I yeah, it does yeah? look like a fuel pressure regulator, actually. Guys, this is still just everything coming in that cardboard box. Should we talk about what people would usually call the Wuhan war whistle, <laughs> but this, French. I know it's been shipped from France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was actually Why made China? in France. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I think he called this a T304 or something like that. I know it's a T3, T4 flange, which is perfect for us, because that's okay. going to mate up to the exhaust. Unless you're going V-band, and most people use these anyway. The only difference with this one, you'll probably notice, is we've gone for the internal wastegate rather than the external one, which you'd usually run over there, and then you can have the screamer and stuff. So that obviously was an option, but then we'd get into the realms of it's no longer a budget build. You'd have to get a Garrett, a Bull Warner, another turbo. You'd probably be another few hundred quid just into the wastegate plus the extra pipe work. So sure. this is by far the easiest way if someone was gonna do this build at home. Yep. This just bolts to that and then runs on a vacuum. It dumps the wastegate into the exhaust straight away and it comes straight straight out the back there. But yeah, even like the water reservoir. Look. So what's that? So you don't even have to know how to weld the blow-off valve flange into your own pipe because he's given you one 
that the blow-off valve just plugs straight <laughs> in. You could literally put this together at home, I reckon. They even give you a diagram. So people, pause <laughs> it right now, because look, look how easy it is to fit. The creme de la creme in that big box, I found hiding at the bottom. Show him, bro. A malware. A malware. How's that for customer service? Value. We have double the Blue Devil's power. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> now, before we tell them how much it costs, yep. can you just break down some costs of what you might usually be accustomed to paying for such parts? I mean, let's face it, right? If you're going to get yourself a big turbo, you're probably in the budget of a thousand pound plus all day long. Intercoolers, big decent ones, you're probably looking at a few hundred quid. Plus you've got the wastegates, tubular manifolds, then the cooling parts, the cooling systems. Yeah, most of the kits you're looking at, you're probably going to be, I don't know, depending on brand, anywhere between four to eight thousand in parts. It's even got six gauges. Six gauges. You know what I mean? Big injectors. I think. I think in my R32, I'm running. I think I'm running 850cc injectors, so double the size of this. But they're literally like nearly a grand's worth of injectors. Do you see what I mean? When I tried to put this kit together for you, even using the cheapest eBay parts, I was still way over this. You know how much I've spent with Laurent. So. Massive shout out. Given the Euro exchange rate at the moment, 0.85, I think. So the kit on the website was two, two, I want to say two, two fifty in euros. After exchange rate, I think we paid about 1900. We paid another three. So just so you know, so we paid the 20% on the duty plus the five. I think it all came into us at around, I want to say 2,230 pounds delivered to our door. Now at this point in the video, I've used the word cheap and cheapest a lot and budget has been thrown around tremendously. And 2,200 pounds for a lot of people is still a lot of money. But we all know in this game, you need to be able to pay to play. And in the grand scheme of things, for a fully comprehensive turbo kit ready to go, this is in fact dirt cheap. In fact, probably the price of a Garrett turbo. But I think what we all want to know is, will this double our power? We're at 220 brake horsepower. We're gonna to need to see at least 440, bro. Yeah, so after speaking to Ben at Lauren, they have seen these kits at the 450 mark. Come on. That's what he's saying. Obviously, everything will come down. Now, one big thing you've probably noticed that we are missing here is the management system. R32s, every time we do them, we tend to run them on a standalone. So that's the next thing that I'm gonna go shopping for. So we're gonna go speak to some people, let them know what the project is going on, and we're gonna see if we can get you a standalone ECU and we'll put together a loom for you. The Budget Build sh Box Chronicles is in full swing right now. A massive shout out once again to Laurent. I, like, honestly, I can't believe this much, and that was all in the boot of the car. You yep. can literally drive to France. Yes, and save yourself the duty. And save that. yourself all the duty yeah, and pick it up for like 1,900 quid yep. UK. I don't think they're making any money, put it that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the car with these boys, let them do what they need to do, check back in with you for I guess episode three. If you have enjoyed today's video, smash that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out. And of course, check out Vara Technic. Yep. You do, well, you don't do budget builds generally. You it's the first one we've done. <laughs> it's literally the first one we've done. Most you know? of the R32s we've done, we tend to build them. So yeah, I'm, I, I'm interested to see how this goes because it's something that encourages, you know, some people that think turboing their R32s out of their realm, yep. I think this is a wicked opportunity. Definitely. And hopefully we can bust some of those myths where people have considered doing this, but then they're scared off by all the scaremongering online. Yeah, it's yeah. easy to scaremonger people online. You don't know until you actually try it. Exactly. So let's give it a go exactly. and let's see what happens. Of course. And like I always do guys, the good, the bad and the ugly, if I blow this car up, you will be witnessing it firsthand with me. We can cry together. So with that said guys, we will catch you on the next video. Peace out. <laughs>